Hello and welcome everybody to Ilana Slabs. Today, we're going to be showing you how you can use OpenCV to draw a rectangle. So we have a picture of a drone flying around over here, and we're going to do two things. We're going to uh, draw a red rectangle, essentially an outline, you know, kind of like we're locking on to this uh, drone. And uh, we'll also draw um, a black rectangle. Let's call it a black filled box just so that we can't see this thing. The drone just disappears. Okay, it'll be pretty obvious that we're trying to block something out on the picture. Anyway, those are our two objectives. Uh, now let's actually do this using uh, CB2. Now, actually, before I start that, uh, you can see that I already have some code here. Essentially, this block over here imports the libraries we need, so uh, including OpenCV. Uh, this one over here reads that picture in and it converts the color from BGR to RGB and shows it over here. Uh, this line of code is essentially using NumPy to create a copy of this picture. And that's because when we start doing operations on this picture, we don't want it to propagate into uh, this uh, original picture that we have over here. So I'm creating a copy called drone2. Now, the function we're going to use is called cv2.rectangle. Uh, and the very first uh, thing you pass into this uh, function is drone2. Now, there are four other things we're going to pass in over here, and they are, I'm going to call it chord1, i.e. coordinate1. Now, coordinate1 is a point on the top left-hand corner over here, so let's call that, um, I don't know, let's call that 2800, maybe. And um, let's pass in a y value of about 500. Now, the second... Uh, well, actually, it's supposed to technically the third variable uh, is actually coordinate number two, and that'll be a point on the bottom right hand corner of this picture. So let's also type in some coordinates for this. Um, I'm going to call it 4500 on the x axis and uh, about 2000 on the y axis. The next one we're going to do is to actually define the color. So we said, uh, what did we say? We said we're going to draw a red rectangle as if it's locking on to something. So we're going to pass in the RGB code for the color red. And the next thing we're going to pass in is the thickness. So the thickness is measured in pixels. I'm just going to call it an arbitrary 100 pixels for the thickness. So I'm going to hit shift enter now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete this function by passing in those variables. So first up, top left hand corner uh, coordinate, then top sorry, bottom right hand corner coordinate, then the color followed by the thickness. And uh, actually, let's call this drone two. And let's display this picture. Show drone two. And if I did that right, we should see a red rectangle around the drone. There you go. So we're locked onto the drone. Now let's say for some reason, and there are reasons for this, you want to actually black out the drone. You don't want to see the drone. You want to make a black filled in rectangle. Uh, so it's very simple how you do this. What you got to do is A, you got to change the color. So we're going to set this color to black and the RG RGB code for black is 000. Uh, and in order to actually get this thing to fill the rectangle as supposed to have an outline, you need to put in minus one over here. So if I now actually run the cells all the way from here, actually, let's rerun those. I should get that. And there you go. The drone has disappeared. Anyway, guys, that's how you use uh, CB2's uh, rectangle function. Uh, if you guys have any questions, put it in the comment section below. And if you got some value out of this, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will see you on the next video.